Hey guys, this is Arm Reactions, aka the 4673, and I am back in Starry Sky in Spring. I'm sorry, I said it the wrong way. We're supposed to say Starry Sky in Spring. <laughs> I can't do it justice. Uh, I can't do the main menu justice. But um, anyways, it's part six, and uh, yes, we're back in Starry Sky. I thought it's. It, First of all, it's way fucking too late. It's like, it's too late um, for anything. But uh, I decided to record a video because I haven't done a video today and I've been keeping it up pretty good with the videos. Uh, it's webcam video because I feel like webcam videos right now. I remember what I was supposed to say now. I was supposed to say something but I forgot. 600 subscribers! What? The fish! Flamingo! What? I don't understand, but um, thank you. 600 subscribers, okay. I mean, like, if we get to a certain, like, higher number, I'll do something really random, like, I'll dye my hair blue or something. Like, but, oh, right, I got it. If I get 1,000 ever, which I don't think I will ever, but if I get, I'll dye my hair blue. It's a promise. Pinky promise. Alright. Uh, that's what I do when I'm tired. That's why I don't record when I'm tired. Anyways, this is Starry Sky. Uh, I've been looking forward to play this because it's a bit more, what should we say, calm than the second reproduction and I don't sit and cry and uh, so yeah, yeah, that, that's nice, isn't it? Every once in a while. Anyways, we're just gonna record this and then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> we were on the way to Yokun. Yeah. I knocked boldly on Yo's door. And I pressed the wrong button. No one answered. Oh, I can't remember any of the voices. <laughs> I wonder where he went. He doesn't seem to be here. I wonder if it was my imagination. There was nothing I did about it. So I headed back to the classroom where Sissy and Kinesa were waiting for me. I didn't realize I was worrying about Yo all through the supplementary class until they were over. It's finally over. Phew, those boring classes are finally done with. Oh yeah, Nana, where did you go this morning? To Yo's room. I went to see if he wanted to take some the class with us. You don't go recklessly into the boys into the boys storm. It if something happened, what would it have done? <laughs> Nothing happened. You're overthinking it. I'm not overthinking things at all. A single girl shouldn't go into a dorm filled with nothing but guys. I'm fine. Besides, Nana, you gotta think more. Be much more cautious. Okay. Do you seriously understand? You don't have much of a sense of danger in the first place. Anyway, I had no idea Tomoe-kun was also part of the group being kept here. Oh, shit, I dropped my mouse. My mouse. My mouse dropped. Me too. Tomoe's house is in France, so even though it's spring break, he may not have any plans to go home. Yeah, but he just transferred and he's all by himself. I thought he might be lonely. That's true. I'm worried as well. Thank you, Susia. It's all about that damn hit <laughs> Damn hit G, then let it be. I bet I wouldn't have to see his face for a while since it's spring break. <sighs> Kanata! That reminds me, Nana. Haven't you gotten any calls from home yet? Yep. You haven't probably gone home since summer break and New Year's. Won't your mom be worried? Yeah, she's a bit worried. I talked to her about Kanata's situation and how I've been supporting him and cheering him on. I've done something bad. I've made your mom worry. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Don't worry about it. If you feel like you've done something bad, then do your best for the next couple of years. Yeah, yeah. But, without a doubt, if I had to go home, I would have gained weight for sure. I would have probably needed to go on a diet too. That's because Sissy has not. Susie's mom likes to make huge portions of food waiting for us. There's always some leftovers, even growing meat could 
Even the growing me couldn't eat it all. My mom's the type of person who believes children should be raised on delicious food. And so, that sounds nice. Um, <laughs> on top of that, she seems to think uh, that having that much leftover is just right. Your mom's <laughs> your mom's food is so delicious. It's uh, that it's easy to eat not too much. But don't you think it would have been good for Kanata to be lectured by my Yumi my san It would be something like we won't come next spring. That's true. It might be good to get a lecture just this once. Yeah, I'd seriously rather study here than be forced by my mom to work hard. As one would expect, even Kanata is no match for Mayumi san. Do this, do that. She's so noisy. It's like she's trying to get me to work hard like a sports club. That's because Mayumi san is young. If someone were to see you two together, no one would think you're mother and son. Yeah. That's just a dolled up. Uh, that's just her dolled up to look younger. I'd rather have Susie as mom. She's good at cooking and doesn't nag. Think so? I think I inherited more of my mom's genes than my dad's. Uh, your mom is like you as in she likes lecturing and caring for people? You know, the similar one would be me. <laughs> that's true. While we were talking and walking, talking and walking, I remembered I left a printout on the top of my desk. That printout was necessary to do with the homework. Uh, it seems I forgot something in the classroom. I'm going to get it. Really? Do you want us to come with you? That's fine. You two go ahead and I'll catch up later. I need to hurry and get the printout. That way I can catch up to Susie and Canada as soon as possible. Don't be yo. When I open the classroom door, I see Yo standing alone in front of a window. Oh! Yo! He seems so sad, as he gazed somewhere beyond the window. At that moment, I hesitated to call out to him. Where were you this morning? I went to your room, but you weren't there. I was called out by the teacher. You came to talk to me? I'm sorry. It's fine. I went on my own accord. Besides, it wasn't anything that important. I just wanted to see if you were interested in taking supplementary classes together. I thought you might get bored being at the door. Thank you, at any rate. You guys are really close friends. Eh? Earlier, I saw you guys together. We're more than just good friends. We're inseparable. Bleh, I can't pronounce the word. You should have called out to us. You guys look like you were having such a fun conversation that I didn't want to intrude. There's no way you'd be intruding. I think everyone wants to get to know you better, yo. Don't worry about me. It's because I have this personality that I can't make friends. It's okay. Patting you on the head. It's okay, yo. It's okay. Even though you're shy, or if you have difficulty talking to people, you can still make friends. Believe me, okay, yo? You can make friends, okay? You can make friends. Everyone can make friends. Okay? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Yo. That is to say, I didn't really think I needed any, but... Even so, when I see the three of you, I become extremely envious. This is the first time I've ever felt this way. What a strange feeling. <laughs> it would be good if you were a bit more social. Your personality isn't that after all. I can't really believe people. Why? Because of my look, look I've had some unpleasant feelings. From the start, I think it would be easier being alone rather than being teased that much. Yeah. You aren't alone anymore. Yeah? It's not just the three of us anymore. You've joined us, and so now we're four. Your feelings make me happy, but I'm sorry. Until now, I've tried to avoid getting involved with people. That's why I don't know what kind of distance to keep from them. First, I think you get to know each other mutually if you gradually meet each other halfway. Halfway. That'll be enough. Not just with me, but with Susie and Kanata too. Do you want to try spending time together as the four of us? Is it 
impossible. That may not be bad. I talked about something boring, didn't I? Um, even though I didn't mean to talk to you about it. I wonder why. When I'm with you, Nana, I honestly say my true feelings. Yeah. Sorry for keeping you here. It would be bad if those two got worried, so you should head back to them soon. That's okay. I asked those two to go back to me. Go back before me. There's no way those two would go back without you, see? <laughs> eh? When I turned around, Susie and Kanata were standing in front of the classroom. You guys! Kanata was worried about you, saying we had to come back no matter what. Susie, Kanata. I idiot! What you telling her? Anyway, Ichiji was here. I thought I wouldn't have to see him today, too. Kanata may say stuff like that, but this morning he was searching for you, too, to work in. <laughs> exactly. Eh? Susie, yeah, don't say unnecessary things. I just... I just wanted to make sure that Hitchiji wasn't Hitchiji wasn't around so I could concentrate on my studies. Yes, I'm sorry. yes, yes. You always say those sort of things. Seriously, it's because you're not honest, Kazunata. It's because he's assumed that I. Like I said, you're wrong. Tomorrow, come. We were really looking for you. Where were you? We didn't see you in the cafeteria either. Did you probably eat breakfast? Tosiki seems just like a mother. <laughs> That's exactly right, yo. <laughs> you said you're like a mom. Susie, it looks like you, uh, your true age and gender just got exposed. Look here. Even people... Even though people were seriously worrying too. Jeez. <laughs> it seems like I wasn't the only one who was worried. You two were worried as well. I, I wasn't worried or anything. Jeez, Kanata, you aren't really honest. What will some people? Uh, just now. <laughs> Be quiet. To see I'm hungry. Make something. You can. You're pretty hungry, huh? Don't take advantage of Susia. Anyways, what are you, a dog? I'm surprised, but since you're being so frank about it, there's no way I wouldn't make something. It's chilly today, so I want to drink warm soup. The main dish should be fish. Afterwards, the dessert should be something really sweet. It sounds delicious! That could be good! But since she has not a restaurant, don't say it's so stuck up like that. You should just eat and eat salt. The Lincoln Coon is very ill-mannered. That could be true. Say what?! You two, that's enough. If you want to m me to make delicious food, get along. I understand. It can't be helped then. Threatening with food was a success. It always is. <laughs> that's how Susia. After that, he went with Susia to the cafeteria, where he borrowed the kitchen to make the food for the four of us and the blood that we ate. Kanessa and Yokin still fought. But despite that, he seemed to enjoy the great food Susia made. Looking upon that scene with satisfaction, I look over to see Susia smiling just like me. Wee! Wanna play some more? Let's play some more. Once again, we accompanied Kanata to his supplementary classes since early morning. I stayed up late last night, so I'm a bit sleepy. Yeah, I know the feeling. Really, I know the feeling. Goodness gracious. Right, um, sorry. I am back. Ahem. Good morning. Kanata, you actually woke up on time today, didn't you? Uh, uh, rather than waking up, I didn't sleep. Why? I was up all night observing the stars with Susie. They were amazing last night. Well, <laughs> that sounds nice. Not fair though, since it was just the two of you. I thought about inviting you two, but I was, I was pretty sure uh, you would be asleep. I didn't want uh, you to, to wake you up. I see. That's too bad. 
We'll definitely invite you next time. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yo, good morning. I'm sure, Nana. Tosuki and Delinquent Kuna, I suppose. Morning, yo. Good morning, so you came. What age did you come? Are you taking the supplementary classes too? The teacher was finally at the dormitories but left to come here. Besides, Nana is here as well. Delinquent Kuna is whatever. I can't, they're so hard to pronounce delinquent, delinquent, um, well, it is a class of students who are falling behind, so the level isn't that high, I thought I would try it once. Who's falling behind? Now, now, let's study together, yo, let's help, let's help teach Canada as well. Don't say unnecessary things, there's nothing I need to be taught. Canada. It's a waste of time to... Sorry, hair problems. <laughs> it's a waste of time to teach people who don't even understand the basics. I don't want to be talking about school. <laughs> I have midterms. On Monday. I don't want to. <laughs> um, I much prefer study with you, Nana. Don't say that. After all, yo, you're really good at teaching people. There's nothing I want this guy to teach me. Actually, hey teacher, can you really study? At least I can do it better than delinquent could. Hmm? Oh, oh, that's not his voice. Hmm, or should I say, pe finding people less able to do it. Should I say, finding people less able to do it than you would be difficult. Oh, that hurt. Don't change the topic, you. You're always so hyped up this early in the morning, you two. Why don't you just run around campus before the class starts? He's right, don't find you guys. Pfft, it's Hitsuji's fault they got mad. I'm sorry for troubling you, Nana. It's because delinquent can be so annoying. <laughs> they have a comeback for every rem remark. Would it really be so hard for you guys to get along? Their bickering lasted until the teacher claim. Came, not claim, we can't talk. And class started. I glance over at Kanata, who seems to be sleeping peacefully. Uh, if only I could. I'm sleepy as well, so I frantically try to stay awake during the class by constantly rubbing my eyes. By the time class was over, it was already lunchtime. The four of us left class together. Oh, it's over. Lectures on myth are boring. I seriously started to lose consciousness this way. Midway, you were completely out as soon as it started. Kanata's always sleepy. Y you saw. Hey, more importantly, Nana, I'm hungry. Let's go eat lunch together. <laughs> That's true, I'm hungry too. I don't make a move on her, Hitsuji. Tomorrow, are you hungry? Should I make you something again? What are you saying, Suzy? Why are you offering like stuff, stuff like that to Hitsuji? That's no way in hell. Really? Tasuki? Yeah. Since it's an occasion, I'll make something. Oh, it's not good, yo. We, the food Tazuki makes is delicious, so I'm happy. For real? It is yours, a sparkling. Oh, oh, it's you. You dropped something. What's this? A Japanese grammar book? G give it back. What's your problem? Problem? <laughs> I've been bothered picking it up. Hitchiji, are you studying Japanese pickup lines? Can I tear? It's none of your business. Don't say things like that, Kanata. That's right, Joe is trying his best to get used to a Japanese environment. What's with you guys? Even Nana. You know, I've always wanted to say this. Instead of the reason uh, being that you guys were childhood friends, Hitchiji hangs around Nana because. Being the only girl in school is rare. I bet you, wait, uh, when you were in France, you were making out, weren't you? Stop it, Kanata. I'm worried about you, Nana. This guy's just playing with you on a whim. That's not. That's enough, Susia. If you say any, any more, even I. Don't look down on other people's feelings based on your old self selfish jealousy. 
this feeling is mine alone. I don't expect other people to understand, but I can't, won't forgive you for looking down on these feelings without knowing anything at all. Tomorrow. Yo. If you have feelings you want to convey, Nanami, then it would be good if you just said them. Someone who loses his own coward, who loses to his own cowardly feelings and can't even say anything about them should insult other people's feelings. Aren't really feelings I want to convey. Even if there they were, I don't remember asking for your advice. This fight is different from all the other ones. Things that shouldn't have been said or touched on by either side were brought up and handled badly. In the space between Canada and you, there was a tension that seemed ready to burst out at any moment. I didn't want either of them to get any more hurt than this. What should I do? It's a ring between them. It's funny, why is Yo's options always like saddened? I don't know. Just as I was about to get in the middle of Kanata and Yo, Susia grabbed me. Susia, don't worry. Leave this to me. Okay. You too. That's enough. What do you think you let? That's not his voice. What do you think you'll achieve by troubling Nana? Go cool your heads a bit. This has nothing to do with you, Tosuki. Stand down. This is absolutely non-negotiable. Uh, no. I won't stand down. Even I have non-negotiable things. Susuya. Tomoe. If you have confidence in your feelings, no matter what other people say, they shouldn't be shaken. I'll remember that. You too, Kaneta. Don't look down on other people's feelings. Don't take- I really don't think- know what this conversation is all about. Is it about being in love with Nana? Or the main character? Because, ugh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just- I'm just following along. <laughs> don't take out on your own- uh, your own insecurities on other people. What's with this? Even you, Susie. That's right, it's my fault, damn it! Kaneta! Those two are so troublesome, why can't they get along? Kanata's at fault this time, considering how he said that anyone would be heard. That's right, it's my fault! After this, you three can be good friends and do whatever you want. I'm out of here! It Wait, Kanata! Let him go. He needs time to cool off. That, and I think he doesn't want you to see how he is right now. I understand. Kanata didn't mean anything bad by it. Forgive him to mind. When Kanata loses his cool, he says things without thinking. I understand. I understand that, but I just can't forgive him. Sorry, I'm going back first today. See you later, Nana. Well, yo, you don't have to worry about it. Once they've both cooled off, I'm sure they'll calm down. Just leave them alone for now. Thank you, Sissy. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. That's because I'm like the guardian of you three, and on top of that, I don't like this situation. The always smiling Sissy sighed with a furrowed brow. For a little, we just stand still in that same spot, with Kanata and Yo gone. The corridor suddenly felt vastly wide. I'm so tired, I can't even speak. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to end the episode here. Um. 600 subs, that's amazing, um, thank you guys so much. Literally, I'm gonna sleep, and it didn't help with all these, like, conversations about how sleepy they were, and people were sleeping over the tables and stuff, it didn't help. I'm gonna go sleep now. Thanks for watching, see you in the next thing I make, bye.